Now, how do you sell tonight's Smell the Grease with Flippin' Burgers? Anyone who watches commercial television knows that McDonald's seems to make a new ad every 20 or 30 minutes. To be exact, in the last 12 months, 134 new ones hit our TV screens. Here are just some of them. Russell, you always talk about the value of relentless branding, but 134 in one year, too much? Well, I know I would say this, Will, but no. Uh, they're, they're, McDonald's are brilliant. They're having an ongoing conversation with us. Um, they are relentless. They are probably advertising every day. If they're not advertising every day, it's every second day. So they're actually doing us a favour. Um, and they're doing us a favour by making sure they've got something new for us to look at, you know, really often. Because can you imagine if they just made one ad um, and they were advertising every second day, then we'd really rapidly get bored with them. And you've just got to ask yourself, how many times a day are you hungry? For me, I get hungry quite a lot. Maybe not as much as some people. Um, Steady. But... <laughs> 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 I haven't seen nothing. But by showing their ads all the time, their brand is always front of mind. So when you're trying to think of what you want, yeah. they're on your list of options. So that's really, why yeah. you do it. They're really, it. People are really responsive to, this, to the advertising that they do. They can, run, they can run a breakfast ad at night before you go to bed and you'll end up in McDonald's the next day having breakfast. It's, they do it because it works and that's why they run so yeah. many. I should point out, uh, Todd, Bridget and Dan, you've all worked for McDonald's on McDonald's accounts. Uh, and Russell, when? would you like one? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Well, the golden arches is the most recognised symbol in the world, more so than even the Christian cross. Whether it deserves to be or not, Maccas has come to stand for global capitalism, franchised American culture, obesity, deforestation. That's a lot of baggage and scrutiny. Does it affect the advertising, all this stuff? Generally, how people feel about McDonald's determines how they see the products and more specifically how they see the advertising. And you tend not to listen to people you don't like. And it's not that a lot, it's the majority of people in Australia, it's not that they don't like McDonald's, they're either ambivalent or they're okay with it. But when they come at it from a negative perspective, so those that don't like it, um, they filter it through kind of a hate filter. So it doesn't matter if McDonald's puts out as many health things as required. Uh, it doesn't make any difference because that's not how they're seen. And the result on the advertising is we start to make work that's self-conscious and defensive. So we spend, we spend more of our time trying to justify and explain and less of our time entertaining. Mm -hmm. And that's why the work tends to be, and often is bland and boring. Well, uh, let's go back to a time before Super Size Me, Fast Food Nation and McLibel Trust. To all beef patty, special sauce, lettuce, cheese, pickles, onions on a sesame seed bun. Get the idea? To all beef patty, special sauce, lettuce, cheese, pickles, onions on a sesame seed bun. Let me say a few words about McDonald's Big Mac. It's to all beef patty, special sauce, lettuce, cheese, pickles, onions on a sesame seed bun. <laughs> but 30 years later, I, I can say that without thinking to all beef patty, special sauce, lettuce, cheese, because onions are necessary, but mm. it's all there. Like, I'm a vegetarian. Is the creative who came up with that just sunning himself on some island now? When we in advertising um, write an idea, we don't own the idea. Um, it's owned by the owner of the product, so in this case, McDonald's. So there is, there's no royalty, there's no ongoing going royalty. So the person who did create this, presumably it was the advertising person, um, they're just as likely to be sweeping the streets as they are sitting on an island because of their advertising success. Please give generously to the men who work in advertising. <laughs> 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 Of all the eight categories, burgers are the most obsessive about the hero shot. The sexy slow-mo close-up. There are people with full-time jobs as a burger stylists. Bridget, what are the tricks to making a burger look desirable? Well, I always laugh because people get their burger and go, oh, it doesn't look like the picture. So let me tell you about the reality of the picture is that the top of the, of the bun, the sesame seeds are all glued on, and then that's propped up with loads of toothpicks so that it doesn't squash the lettuce below, which is real. Then the patty is sort of cooked a little bit and then sort of torched, blowtorched to make it look charred and then sprayed with something like glycerine so it looks juicy. And the fries, they are hand-painted styrofoam, <laughs> then glued together into the perfect fan formation and stuck in a box. So if you ever do get a burger and it looks like the picture, that's when you should worry. <laughs> <laughs> well said. <Yeah. laughs> uh, here's an ad without a burger in. The cafe's stronger, smoother coffee is made from Rainforest Alliance certified beans. This means the coffee beans are grown in a way that helps workers and their families earn a better income and has minimum impact on the environment. 
McCafe Rainforest Alliance Blend. A great deal for workers and a great tasting coffee for you. Oh, saving the world one Big Mac at a time. Here's what I can't work out. In the past, McDonald's has been condemned for its involvement in the deforestation of the Amazon. Trees mown down to grow cattle and chicken feed. Dan, is an ad like that all it takes for us to be given environmental amnesia? Uh, well, I think the results say yes, um, given that that campaign led to what's reportedly a 20% increase. So, but look, I think the alternative is that you do nothing. So I think that when consumers see a corporation doing something responsible without the need for a protest, or without a boycott, I think that they, they do respond positively to that. McDonald's are a massive company, a global corporation, uh, and as a result of that, they obviously have on a, world, on a world scale an effect, but they can have effect for good, you know, they really can. They can say, we choose now to buy our coffee beans in this following ethical fashion, and they can have a serious effect on, you know, the whole world economy just by making that decision. All right, well, let's cross the road and visit the opposition. Take a look at Hungry Jack's news.